Alrighty guys, shalom, shalom, welcome. Let me get my uh, stuff set up here. All right, cool. Welcome, you guys, shalom. My name is Matsyahu, your end time watchman, as you see at the middle of the screen there. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm glad you guys could join me today. Hope everything's going well. I know that we uh, live in some very trying times. We do the best that we can. Uh, we trust in Yahusha. Um, and once again, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, um, you guys can join me every Friday when I go live. Uh, every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my Shabbat talks. We always have a lot of fun over there, so I urge you guys to come and check that out. If not, you can check me out as I do these weekly videos. Um, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm just going to get right down to it. Um, we're going to talk about uh, Yahushua's moral character. What is Yahushua's moral character? And where do we go to find Yahushua's moral character? Um, I think that's something that really, really we need to put out on the forefront. You know what I mean? What is the nature of our Creator? What is His nature? What is His moral character? It's very simple. It's very easy. And these are concepts that we as Nazarene are trying to get out into the community, but they obviously are falling on deaf ears. But we're going to continue to keep pushing in any, any way that we can. Uh, uh, and I'm going to try to rephrase this as many different ways that I can for everybody to have a good understanding of what I'm talking about. And that goes for everybody. So... Thank you guys for joining me. Welcome. All right. Yahushua's moral character. The, the Yahushua's moral character, what is it, right? And where is it found? So first, what is his moral character? Yahushua's moral character simply is the ten words, the ten commandments. All right. The ten commandments, as we see here, right? This is his moral character, and this is... This is how we know the character and the nature of the creator of the universe, is by these Ten Commandments. So this is what it is. Um, yeah, the Ten Words are his nature and his character. Okay? And remember, Moses wrote about, Moses is the one that, where the law was given, right? The Ten Commandments, even though they've always been around since the beginning. And Moses wrote about Yahushua as Yahushua uh, tells us in John chapter 5, verse 46. Yahushua says that uh, Moshe, uh, or Moshe, however you want to pronounce it, Moses was, uh, uh, wrote about Yahushua. And this is where he wrote about him. He's talking about his moral character. And, he, and a lot of the Torah is all Yahushua. So this, this is where he's talking about his moral character. So first, this is what his moral character is. Now, where do you find this at? Okay. You can go to Exodus chapter 20, verses 2 through 17, and Deuteronomy chapter 5, verses 6. Start at verse 6. I can't remember if it, where it ends, but start at verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 5. And I'm going to go through them right now. This is the character and the nature of Yahushua our Mashiach. Number one, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, have no others before my face. Number two, you do not bow to images. Number three, you do not cast the name of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to ruin. Number four, remember Shabbat to guard it as Kodesh. Number five, respect your father and your mother. Number six, you do not murder. That's even in your heart, guys. If you look at another man or woman with hatred in your heart, that's considered murder. 
you do not break wedlock. That means if you look at another man or woman with lust in your heart, you have committed adultery. That's wedlock. You do not steal, irrespective, irregardless of its value. Number nine, you do not bear a malicious witness against your neighbor. That also means that you do, it's not just lying, guys. It means gossip, slander. You don't do these things to your neighbor. And number 10, sorry, I'm all over the place here. Number 10, you do not covet your neighbor's wife, house, field, servants, animals, or anything belonging to your neighbor. I am Yahuwah, that is my name. Love me and guard my commands. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love one another as I have loved you. Remember, this is a covenant of love. That's what the goal is, guys. The goal is love. So if you want to know the nature and moral character of our Savior, Yahushua Mashiach, simply go to Exodus 20 and Deuteronomy 5 and read the Ten Commandments and you'll get a very good understanding of the nature and moral character of our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. It's very simple and it's very easy, but unfortunately it's it's a mystique and, a, and, and mysterious to those with the spiritual blinders on. Uh, they don't have eyes to see and ears to hear, so they don't understand these very simple concepts. Remember, guys, Yahushua is the Ten Words. Yahushua is the Torah. Yahushua is the Living Word, right? All right. Uh, I haven't been going that long, but that's good enough. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Like I said, uh, please, uh, if you guys like the video, um, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of my videos. Um, to support the channel, the best way you can do that is please hit that like button. Let me know that I'm doing a good job over here. If you dislike it, dislike it. But hit the like button, guys, because it's the best way to support this channel. I don't monetize. I don't ask for money or anything like that. I simply want to get these videos into the algorithm. I simply want people to hear the truth. So please uh, share and like the video. Uh, and share it too with everybody, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Let Get me out there, guys, right? Get my face out there. Um, I'm trying to spread the truth. I love you guys with all my heart. Obviously, thank you guys for joining me. You can join me every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my Shabbat Talks, excuse me, my Shabbat Talks, where I go live. I put a link in the chat. You guys can join me live in the chat, or I put a link in the chat. You guys can click it and come on and join me live and actually talk with me live. If you're interested in doing that, I always try to encourage people to come on and give their testimony. Or if you just want to, you know, debate something or discuss something, please come on. I'm uh, open. It's just, once again, no profanity, no personal attacks. Let's stick to the faith uh, topic. I'm not into politics and all the rest of that garbage. Uh, but anyways, I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you guys for joining me. Let me get ready here. Um, you guys know how I do it. Uh, for all the returning subscribers, for all the new subscribers, for everybody that's been with me for a long time. Remember, guys. Put that like button down, like this video, guys, uh, and share it with your friends. At the end of all my videos, guys, I love, love, love to say, run to Yahusha.